Hi, I'm Rebecca. I was diagnosed at age 13 with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2012. Um, I am now 19 and three years in remission. Um, I was diagnosed a month before my eighth grade year. Uh, because of my diagnosis, I had to miss three years of school, uh, but I am graduating next Thursday, so. <laughs> uh, I had over 15 rounds of chemo, uh, 14 fractions of radiation. Uh, my brother was my bone marrow a transplant donor. He was a perfect match, luckily. Um, I had sepsis six months into my treatment, and I was put in a medically induced coma for two weeks. Um, and I was in, a hos in the hospital for a month after that. And even though I'm in remission now, I still suffer from so many different um, problems. I have avascular necrosis in my knees and my ankles, which is uh, dead bone, so I cannot run, jump, do any of that. Um, I will have to get many knee replacements throughout my lifetime. Um, I suffer from depression and anxiety because of my diagnosis. Um, I have GI troubles and uh, migraines and all these problems that are a result of my treatment. And without the Affordable Care Act, I don't know if I could afford to get the care that I do. I'll let my dad speak more. <laughs> yeah, the um, uh, thank you, Senator, for passing the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it touched our family in every way. Uh, a year before Rebecca was diagnosed, uh, her mom and I divorced. Um, we thought that was a tumultuous year. Mm -hmm. uh, how did the Affordable Care Act help Rebecca? Um, lifetime limits. Uh, I would have to work too many lifetimes to pay back what was spent. Um, the Affordable Care Act provided insurance for mom when she became unemployed. The Affordable Care Act saw us through two transfers of insurance companies at my employer. And uh, needless to say, with uh, the pre-existing conditions, it will keep Rebecca insured through her lifetime and on my insurance through age 26. Um, I won't uh, speak more to R Rebecca's care, but just hearing all these other stories, they are so similar to ours, just so similar. And according to the senator, there's 50 million other people out there with this same exact story. I'd urge the administration to reverse their course on this. Too many Americans face this. It's the right thing to do. The Affordable Care Act works. Thank you.